Oh, Max, this isn't going to work. It is. Look how neatly I swapped the two pictures. Donald, will you put me down for one moment? Look how neatly I swapped the two pictures in these passports. Right down to a new plastic sheet and an official stamp. Cheating Breed Cricket Club? Well, that was the only stamp I could find. <laughs> Besides, it's only got a full Greek passport control, and you know how lax they are. Especially when you're flashing deep cleavage, which uh, you will be. You've uh, darkened Janet's hair down as well, haven't you? Exactly. No, it doesn't look unlike you. As much as anyone can expect from a passport photo. And in this one, I've lightened your hair up. So now, officially, she is you. And you are her. You see? But her hair's blonde. It won't be when I've dyed it. Oh, I'm confused. Darling, it couldn't be more simple. In a moment, we shall take Janet down to the bay and put her in the boat. She'll be carrying your passport. Your name, but her photo in it. Okay so far? Okay, but why do I have to sign my hair? Because, my puppet, as from this moment, you are Janet Harrington, and you will have her passport as proof of identity. But with my picture in it? Exactly. Okay, so I'm using her passport. What next? We go ahead exactly as planned. Put Janet in the boat. Your passport alongside, push the boat out to sea, and Susie Stevens is officially dead. But Janet Harrington, heiress to a fortune, you and her loving husband, me, live happily ever after. Oh, Max, that's brilliant. That's even better than the plan we had before. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Many million times better. You've got a flaw in the whole thing. <laughs> The drug must have won. Well, um, she must have seen a passport! Give me the sugar bowl. Come in, darling! I'm not doing Um, of course you are, my darling. Of course you are. <laughs> darling. Oh, God, um, you you slipped and had a fall. You, you <laughs> fell on some seaweed. <laughs> so come on, darling. Back into bed. There you go. We've heard the time to go for a <laughs> stroll around the island. Just to surely understand. Nothing more. Absolutely. Yes, uh, my wife has discussed the matter and explained to me exactly how I feel. You'll see no tensions here, no matter what the outcome of this legacy. Mm. We are utterly sanguine. George! After all, it's not as though we're desperate for the money. Oh, no. George! No, winner take all, that's how we see it. George! <laughs> it is not a case of winners and losers, more a case of an amicable agreement. Or, to put it another way, an agreement amicably reached. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not sure that is another way of putting it, dear. Oh, come on, George. See you later, dear. <laughs> Was that carefully enough, do you think? Sure. Right. I've managed to get it under again. I, uh, perhaps a false feeling. Any uh, <clears throat> sign of our guests? They've gone for a ball because they Good. In that case, we get on with, uh, dyeing her hair. Uh, get me that bottle from the bench. And um, while we're at it, can we let blonde jaws up as well? Oh, my God! How Edgar, um, what are, what are you doing here? I, uh, 
I'd expect to see you back until tomorrow morning. I, I had a bit of luck. I, I ran into this young couple on the way to Corfu. Oh, they, they dropped off on route. By, by the way, who are you? Oh, me? I'm... I'm... Um, uh, tell me who I am, darling. A complete stranger. What? Yes, maybe Susie Stevens. Something to do with the theatre. Of course, everyone, darling. Don't you, darling? See? <laughs> She's even got me doing it. <laughs> and, um... How did, how did you get here, Miss Stevens? Uh, I, I, I... She wrote... Wrote? Oh, <laughs> yes, to the wrong island. I mean, it's a simple enough mistake to make. Had the map upside down. It could happen to anyone. And now... She is deadly insistent on rowing back today. I am. Yes. See, Paul Hardy insisting on rowing back today, despite the many dangers. Dangers? A sudden squall. Ah. Ooh. Ah. The, the sea looks quite calm today. Possibly. The calm before the storm ended. <coughs> and then what? The boat overturns, pitching her into a merciless ocean. Her body drowned. Unrecognisable, save for her bright red Hair. You have um, <clears throat> noticed her hair, Edgar. Mm -hmm. Hair, yes. Hair. Yes, of course you have. It's undeniable. I wager in her passport it says, colour of hair, red. Miss Stevens, I keep that document on you at all times. It may be the only means of identifying you, no matter how soggy it gets. She could always wait for the ferry tomorrow! No! Oh. No. No, no, no. She is uh, most insistent on leaving today. The best I've been able to try to do is to leave immediately. All we need to do now is check that the coast is clear. <laughs> yeah, there's no sign of them. Yeah? The um, serious snoopers class that's up on Herald the coming storm. Ooh. Yes, Miss Stevens. Um, here is your passport. Take it and make your run to the boat now. There you go, Miss Stevens. No, you know, Miss Stevens, run. Go, Miss Stevens. Run, run faster, Miss Stevens. Go, go, Miss Stevens. Faster. Now, Edgar. Oh, Max. You, you, you've given me a great idea for a murder. Marvellous. Uh, uh, no. I'm getting a, a, a drowning, a uh, switch of personalities, perhaps. It's, it's all a bit mixed up in my head now, but um, I'm sure it'll come clear to me. Well, I'll tell you what you need to do. You need to go back to your place. Burn the midnight oil. Shut all the doors. Don't emerge for a couple of days' time, but definitely not before tomorrow afternoon. Right, yes, that's, that, that's good advice. I'll do that. Aha! Ah, but I was forgetting. Provisions! I've replaced some of the ozone that I've drunk here. And a little something for Janet. Oh, uh, where is Janet, by the way? Uh, upstairs in bed. Ah, it's not surprising, all that rowing. Rowing? No, Edgar, Janet doesn't go rowing. What? No, no, no. That was um, Susie Stevens, uh, the redhead girl. You remember Susie? But, but you said that. I said, Edgar, you agreed that you should go back to your place and uh, get to work, eh? Right. Aye, aye. I'm ready. Ooh. That drowning. What if the motive was something to do with the drowning? With Will? Uh, no, Edgar, uh, that's, uh, that's a little bit corny, don't you think? But um, you'll get it. Uh, you'll get it, I'm sure. <laughs> um, I, I nearly ran into them. What? Uh, the terrorist hemorrhoids um, coming oh, across oh, the headland. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, I better go. I don't want to get No, Edgar, uh, nonsense, nonsense. Uh, I will hear it. You'll, you'll disappoint Janice. Yes, I mean, after you went to the trouble of um, buying her this, I, I insist you give it to her personally. Um, top of the stairs, I'll, go, I'll be up in a moment. The, the door's locked, you know, women. Um, any sign of them? I'm getting closer every minute. All right, I'll, I'll keep them up there as long as I can. You get rid of them. What? Just get rid of them. Oh, uh, that's it, Edgar. Let me, let me. Uh, 